Hi everybody, and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit more about a firm or a company folder. Now, a firm or a company folder, specifically, is just a folder that contains a bunch of settings. Usually these settings will be your drawing sheet, your company logo, uh, some custom settings you want, or template specific. And all it does is you're going to tell Tecla to look at that first before looking at your environment. So if both your environment and your company folder have a drawing sheet or a title block, it will use the company folders first. Now, sometimes you want to set up multiple of these if you're working for multiple firms or for whatever reason. And in this case, it's quite handy. Now, the one way to do it is to go here into Advanced Options, Tools, Options, advanced options and go to file locations. You'll find here a folder that says, says XS firm and you can type in your company's firm folder that you've made and put it there. Quite a good option but you need to restart Tecla before it takes effect and of course you have the small problem of only one at a time. And if you're working for a different company, then you have to go open up Tecla, set it, close Tecla, open it up again. A bit of a hassle, but doable. Now, the other way of doing this is to create a shortcut or to change your Tecla shortcut to specifically tell it to start up with the firm folder settings. And that is what I'll be showing you right now. Okay. So first, let's close up Tecla. We need it at the moment. Now, as you can see, I've installed my Tecla directly on my C drive, which is the most comfortable place for me to do it. If you've installed it somewhere else, then your location is just going to change. Uh, usually, if it's not underneath the C drive, it should be underneath your program files. And your environment, in that case, will be under program data. As you can see, I've got hidden folders um, shown. If you don't have it shown, just go to view and turn that on or off so that you can go find your environment folder. As for me, as I said, I've got everything under C, works best, and might good. Now, first thing you'll need to do is get your standard Tecla shortcut. Now, I've copied it from the desktop over to here. And from here, I'm going to copy it over into a new folder, which I'm calling Company Settings. I'm also going to put in some logos, because I want my company to use its own logo when I do my drawing sheet, my title block. Now, first things first, you will need a new folder inside that, which is company specific. You can make that anything, it doesn't really matter. Go for something like A, wonderful, and then you make your next one. B, pardon my spelling. Okay, so make all your company folders right there. And this will work great, and each one will be nice and unique. I'm just going to rename this and call it Training Institute for Draftsmen, GID for short. So, now I've got my folder. Inside this folder, I'm going to put everything that I want this company information to be. Currently, it's only the three logos. Uh, later in another video, I'll show you more about how to change your drawing sheet, your title block, uh, setting up templates, and so on. So for now, I'm just going to copy in a pre-made set that I usually use. Copy here. And that'll be some lists or templates, uh, my drawing sheets, my logos, and so on. Let's go back. Now, the trick here is to get Tecla to go look in that folder first before it go looks in your environment folder. So what you need to do is you need to 
change your pet life shortcut. I'm just going to take and rename this for now just to make it nice and unique. I'm going to make it the same as the folder name and uh, maybe just put pet life in front of that. So now I've got my shortcut. Um, I'm going to be a bit fancy with this one. I like to change the icon. So I've got a multitude of shortcuts on my desktop, each and every one for a different company. And by changing the icon, they're quite fast and easy to spot. So for this, I'm going to go look in the company specific. I made a picture into an ICO file, icon file. I'm just going to open that up. It's fairly easy. You can find a lot of tutorials or guides online on how to do this specifically. Now, next, I want to tell this shortcut to go look at a specific file, a specific setting file. Unfortunately, I don't have a specific setting file as of yet, so I'm going to quickly create one. Now, the easiest way I've found is to start off with a text file. That's all you're going to need text file, I'm going to call it TID company and that's it. Now the problem is it's still going to read as a text file but I want it as a settings file. So I'm going to go to view and I'm going to turn on file extensions. If you're not using Windows 8 you should be able to click here somewhere and get to an option change file folder options, go to view, and you can do it here. Now, the text becomes an I and I, which is basically just a settings file. Okay. If you're going to open this up, mine automatically opens up the text. If it does not, just go say open with and pick your notepad. It should be somewhere in your programs. All right, so as you can see, it's fairly empty at the moment. And what I want to do is put in three specific sets of information. Now, I'm just going to copy these out from another place. It's a lot easier than typing them over and over again. And I'm going to basically explain them. Firstly, we've got the fx.firm, which is the one you saw in the beginning that tells me where the firm folder is located. Currently, it is particular structures, and the easiest way to do that is just to go into the folder you made, click on this top bar, and copy that location. Uh, right. And that's all you're going to do, just paste it in there. So, as you can see, it ends with another um, slash and you want it to end the stash. Now, as for this space here, you can have one or you don't need one. It's up to you. Personally, I prefer putting a space in between, and this helps me sort out the different rules. Now, apart from the firm itself, where it goes looks for settings and stuff, you also want it to go look for symbols. Uh, symbols is not necessarily just a symbol, but it's any picture. So this is where it will go to find your logos that you want to import. It's going to start off with set dxk underscore symbol path and equals. Now this uh, percentage x is directory percentage specifically it refers to wherever you've installed Tecla. If you go look at your Tecla itself if underneath environments or underneath your NT bin, particular structures I and I, you'll see that it's there. And basically, what you're doing now is telling uh, the company folder. Yeah, I've saved it. Just quickly open it up again. But basically, what you're telling Tecla is to go look in wherever you've saved Tecla, environments, common symbols, or 
wherever you've saved Tekla, ND template, bitmap files. Now, this is the standard position of your images. But what you do at the end of that is you add mark and you say you also wanted to go look in whatever you made your company folder. So basically you're telling it to go look in the standard places but also in the company folder for images. Next you want to do exact same thing but with templates. Stuff like your reports and your list. You also want it to go look in the standard place but also more importantly you want to go look in your company folder. Uh, just quickly paste it again. Now all I did was paste three times and add a backslash to the end of it. Maybe a four slash. I don't really remember. I think it's a backslash. Now as you can see these ones says you want to look at both the original and the new file whereas the firm setting says only look at the new place. And that's just so that it overrides the others. Now, once you've done with this and you're happy with your settings, I will paste this into the comment section. Yeah, into the description section of the video. I just save that. And now you've got your INI settings folder or file. Next, I'm going to say properties and this is basically because I want the entire location, the target. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the Tekla shortcut. This one basically just tells it where to go look for Tekla. Now at the end of this target you can add a space minus I and space. Then we're going to start with our quotation marks. After these quotation marks, I'm basically just going to put in this file destination. So, what I'm going to do here, just move it down, is firstly, I'm going to copy the settings because this is where it's located. I can put this either here or I can put it inside the TID folder itself. That might, might actually be easier and leaves for a cleaner folder. So I'm going to go in there, I'm going to click up there and I'm going to say, right, this location, I want to copy it. After that, I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to add another slash and then I'm going to take the folder and rename it. I'm going to copy this entire name. The name is very important. And it has to be correct. And I'm going to paste it right at the back. And then I'm going to add another quotation mark. Now, even though it would probably look better if this had a space in it, spaces don't always work well when doing a target, so I tend to not use them. Okay. When this is done, I'm going to say OK. And what this is going to mean is that as soon as I open up this shortcut, Tekla is going to open up, but using my company folder. OK, let's go to education. new model that I've made previously. Now, uh, easy way to test to see if the company folder is there. If you noticed previously, you'd have seen I've got all my reports. I added numbers before them so that they show up first in my list. If I go to reports, create report, they'll show up there first. And this is an easy way for me to get my preferred reports right at the top of the list so that I don't have to go and look for them. Next, I'm going to open up my drawing list, open up a drawing, and look at my drawing sheet. Okay. This is not currently my uh, 
prefers drawing sheets so I'm just going to open up double click this here and say yes I would like to open up the template and as you can see it's currently right here at the top it currently takes it from the environment as is basic so I've obviously made a mistake somewhere This is probably because I messed around with some of the advanced settings that I usually should not mess around with. And it's simply solved by going in, creating a new project. Well, project 1, that's good enough. And yes, it works. So that was simply caused by settings I had changed in my previous model. Now, usually it will import just fine without a problem. If it does cause a problem, you might have to just repair your model or import it into a new model. And as you can see, my custom-made title block is right there. And whatever else I changed, it's changed. Okay, so that's the basics on setting up and creating a firm folder. I'll make a video later on the rest of the stuff. Just changing drawing title blocks.